In this video, I want to use a binomial tree to price a European call option. Now, the circumstances under which we can get a price are pretty constrained right now, but later we will see how to relax those. So, I'm going to start with a market. Uh, we have a non-dividend paying stock, which is which whose current price is 52, and we're going to assume that risk-free interest rates are 5%, and that's continuously compounded. Now I want to price a call option. The call option I want to price is a strike of 52 and a maturity of 0.25 years. So we're going to start with the stock being at 52. Now the constraint I'm going to put is that there are only two possible outcomes for the stock in three months. So the first outcome would be the stock goes up to 55. The alternative is that the stock goes down to 49. So we're starting with a stock, it starts at 52, it can either go up to 55 or down to 49. Now we can think about this call option under these circumstances. Again, the prices of 55 and 49 are at the maturity of the call option, and so we know what the call option is worth at that point. If the stock is at 55, then the call option is worth three. If the stock is at 49, then the call option is worthless, right? You don't exercise a call option to buy a stock trading at 49 for a price of 52. Now today, of course, we don't know what the stock, what the option is worth. We'll just call that C. So next, what I'm going to do is create a portfolio. And my portfolio, we'll call this portfolio A, is short one option and long delta shares. And we're going to choose delta in just a second. So this portfolio at the maturity of the option, if the stock is at 55, then it's worth 55 delta minus 3. If the stock is at 49, the option is worthless, so it's just worth 49 delta. And of course, today, we don't know exactly what it's worth, but it's 52 delta minus C. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose delta so that it doesn't matter whether the stock goes up or down. So we're going to set the portfolio A. We're going to make sure portfolio A has the same value in both cases. So find delta by setting 55 delta minus 3 equal to 49 delta, which means 6 delta equals 3, or delta equals a half. And we can see if delta equals a half that the value of this portfolio is 24 and a half no matter what. Now here's where we can use our arbitrage rules. Let's think of a different portfolio, which is always worth 24 and a half in three months. And that portfolio will be long zero coupon bond paying 24 and a half in three months. Now we know what that portfolio is worth. A zero coupon bond paying 24 and a half today is worth 24 and a half e to the minus rt or 24.1957. Now the second thing that we know is that if we have two portfolios that are always worth the same thing in the future, and nothing can happen between now and that future point, then they're worth the same thing today. And given that, portfolio A and portfolio B are always worth the same thing in the future, so they must be of equal value today. So we know portfolio B and portfolio A is worth 24.1957 today, which means that 24.1957 equals 52 delta minus C. We can solve for C by rearranging, and we end up with C equals 1.8043. So under these circumstances, the call option is worth $1.80.43. 80 